It's pretty cool, Stremmy, that you're a, uh, that you're helping set up all those race cars for the SRX series. I mean, what an awesome series! And uh, I love that series. And man, when we're racing, we get done racing. I can't. I guess we got to go watch the race. You know what I mean? Then Saturday night, and uh, man, the race in Pensac Pensacola was incredible, unbelievable. And I was thinking, man, you look at a uh, you know, Castro Nevis. I mean, I was thinking, dude, he's beating some great. I mean, there's so much talent on the racetrack in y'all's yeah. cars. But man, how what fun it is for to get in all those cars and you and Schrader be able to set them all up. That's amazing, man. Well, you it are. is fun. Kenny run this weekend at Peebley, the dirt race, but I was I be honest, I don't care to race them. I I I enjoy helping like um when we were at Nashville last year and, and Elio's running the top. And I mean, he's busting these guys' butts up top there. And I'm like, all right, you know, we, we don't, when you're there, I don't really, I call it, it's not driver development. These guys are champions. And I mean, that's what all you're doing is consulting. You just go, hey, here's what I see, what Tony's doing or what Bobby's doing or whoever in the field. And you just try to help them all a little bit. But they're, they're, they're so talented and it's fun to watch them, especially the open wheel guys that get out of their element and, and get into a stock car. You know, I expect Newman and Michael and these other guys to run well. Biffle, you know, I tell them every week, I'm like, pressure's on you, you know. But when you <laughs> watch Non, uh, Tony Kanan running or this Ernie Francis that run like they did, uh, even Marco. Marco is, is by far um, exceeded the, what I expected this year. I mean, he's still, I told him, if he tones her down that much, you know, his his – He'd be a lot better because he gets aggressive, but <laughs> you know that's what's neat about it. You see these guys, and and I Rock was built like that, and you see this SRX and what they're doing. But what's neat is they're doing them at facilities that you, you don't need to go to these these mega million dollar places. They can do it right at at your your grassroots, and uh, it's showing what it's been able to do. But it, it's definitely fun. It's a neat part of my career, what I'm doing, and um, we got the last race at Sharon. Speedway up in Ohio this weekend with both uh, Ryan Blaney and uh, Dave Blaney's going to run. And then you got Logano in the booth and you got Chase called. So Chase Elliott's in. I mean, all these guys want to keep running. And, and it's neat because you see a lot of others wanting to go run this this little deal, too. Yeah, but it's pretty awesome to have those grassroots. Uh, I mean, that grassroots, people love it. It looks like the grassroots racing where you guys are racing at. Looks like to me, attendance wise, looks like it's uh, doing a little bit better. These multi million facilities that this NASCAR guys are racing at, if you know what I mean. I mean, people, it, it's, love, people love what y'all are doing. Yeah, well, the thing is, I mean, they, they're doing good. You know, it's still about the same ticket as what, a, what it is to go to watch a cup race or Xfinity race. And um, I mean, it's packing them. You know, it, it, there's some places they sell out like they're like, look, we can't get you to come in no more. You know, so it's it's very interesting. Um, it's still building. I feel they they they're they're in negotiations where CBS wants to do some stuff, and there's just so much going on. But you look at the players with Tony and and Ray and and uh, Sandy and George and all these people that have put this this program together. It's so early. There's so much more. I'm just happy. You know, they said, hey, you know, you want you want to be part of this. So it's a lot of fun. It's six weeks, but um, it it it's what I what I again, went back to parody and doing stuff and you're talking about your Loudon race. What I don't, and I hope fans listening understand that, you know, you run 11th and I go, listen, that is hard to do. You know, you fight your car and you're running all day and you're busting your butt and focus and doing everything. And, and, uh, Bobby Dodder and all them guys at, at Greenlight do a great job with what, what they're doing with their cars, but you beat a lot of big teams, you know, big powerhouses. And to me, that's big, you know, when I, when I hear what you've done there. So congratulations well, you, to you on your weekend. Well, I appreciate it. you understand that. Cause you've been there and done that. You know, a lot of the fans don't understand. It's like, man, our, our shoestring budget, you know, we don't really have any oh, I, engineering and, you know, uh, you know, we just we have a hodgepodge of different cars. And, uh, but I mean, we do pretty good for what we have, you know what I mean? Yep. And, you know, when you do beat some of those powerhouse teams and you're competitive and, you know, you know, people say, like, man, if I finish in the top 10, I feel like I want to pull into victory lane because really we won. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Because a lot of those big teams wouldn't compete on the budget that we operate on, you know. So uh, you well, understand. That, they wouldn't even know what to do when they get to the racetrack. If they didn't, if they had to drive to the racetrack, they'd piss themselves. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything now is, and, and, and to me, that's where fans, 
they've lost a core group of fans because it's just about people writing a check, you know, like you bust your ass, you go out and you, you work for your program, you work for the team and doing everything. And, and I'm not saying some of them guys don't, but look, at the end of the day, they're just writing a check to go race. And you do see it. It's like how they race and how they're doing stuff. And listen, they, some of them need their ass beat, you know, I mean, just how, (laughs) (laughs) I'm being serious. They forget yeah. where they come from. You know, that's why that's I like right. when you look at this SRX deal, it's all people like at the end of the day, they don't really care what they're getting paid. They just love to race. All right. Absolutely. And, absolutely. That's the best part at, about it. 